Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the August 2021 Sire Proof uh, video that we put out here at All West. And uh, we're going to do something a little different on this Sire Summary today. I'm only going to talk about bulls that are in our proven lineup. Uh, we had such a successful uh, run with proven bulls that have returned to the lineup and uh, something that we've always been really popular and used to talk and I know you've heard me say this before is customer satisfaction bulls and we have a lot of these bulls that check those boxes so we're going to go over proven bulls right now. Uh, a couple weeks from now we'll do a list of uh, genomic young bulls that uh, are out and on the list to talk about and when we get closer to expo time we'll do a video on the showcase bulls. So we're just going to break it up a little bit so I can spend more time in each category. Um, our proven Holstein lineup uh, was extremely successful. There's bulls there that are standing the test of time. Uh, this just shows how good that uh, we've been doing uh, with our sire team back at Select Sires and picking and selecting uh, really good young bulls that are able to stand the industry trends and, and go through the time and just kind of just stand up to the changes that uh, continue to go on rapidly in breeding cattle in the dairy industry. So with that said, we had 33 sires over 2,700 TPI, 11 in the top 25. Uh, again, you know, tend to dominate that list with bulls that come back. Um, but the highest bull to come out was at number four, Renegade. Uh, he was one of our next gen bulls. And again, shows how the next gen program has been working so well. Uh, he's a sire of many sons and we'll talk about him a little bit more uh, as we go on. At number nine, we have Riveting, uh, one of the first frazzled sons out. Uh, again, entering at number nine in the top 10. Again, frazzled the bull that we uh, had a lot of confidence in and have quite a few sons out of uh, that are hitting the proven list now. And then uh, number 10, Lionel and Helix who still remains in the top at number 13 at 99%, King Doc at number 14, again, a 99% proven bull, Legacy, uh, who again, from the Next Gen program, who's uh, been a sire of many sons that are in our program right now, uh, he comes in at 18, Soprano, Tahiti at number 20, along with Future, uh, Millington, again, a 99% reliable bull at number 25, uh, also with Griff right next to him. So again, um, 33 bulls over 2,700, 11 in the top 25. Um, there's uh, 22 active sires over 1,500, 13 uh, over 1.75 uh, for type, this uh, 19 for plus 1.75 for udders. So again, uh, we're having no, no compromising production or high TPI bulls uh, are not getting the type and the production and just a great balance. And there's 23 active sires that are greater than 1 point SCR and 12 are over 1.5. Uh, I know coming into this time of year, fertility is a big thing. And it's kind of one of the reasons I'm focusing on the proven bulls. These are bulls that have a lot of breedings and we have really good SCR information. And August is the time to be looking at some of these bulls uh, to get these cows settled that didn't get uh, settled in the last two months. First bull we're going to talk about is 7H14250 Legacy. Again, he has been uh, a dominant force in our next gen program. Uh, was a bull that people used early on. There was huge demand. He's been a sire of sons. Uh, he seems to be transmitting a lot of the things we're looking for in the industry today with uh, average sized cows, with uh, great udders, and uh, really good fitness and health traits. Uh, so he comes into the list uh, at over 500 of milk, uh, 69 of fat. He's plus on all his components. Uh, he's over $900 on net merit, uh, 28 to 1 TPI. He's a half a point on type, over a point and a half on udders. Uh, again, a bull that's plus on all his fitness traits. He's 8.4 productive life, one of the leading productive life bulls in the industry. Uh, he's positive on his wellness traits. Uh, and a 2.2 calving ease bull, so a bull that you could use heifers and cows, but just a bull that kind of hits everything all around. Again, look at them to be medium-sized cows uh, with really fabulous setters, healthy cows, and uh, just a really good group of cows to work with. And again, he's a frazzled son out of a Yoder, Yoder being a mogul son, next dam an epic. Uh, his whole pedigree is fully stacked with uh, select sire bulls, and again, he's a great addition to our sire lineup and available. Uh, there's plenty of semen out there, so a good bull to be looking at right now. 
Uh, the next bull I'm talking about is 7H14229 Tahiti. Uh, was quite a popular bull with us as a young bull. A lot of people were drawn to him. Again, another frazzled son out of uh, Mogul Delta. Uh, Delta, again, one of the popular Mogul sons for quite some time. Um, again, a bull that we look at, again, at 1658 uh, of milk. Uh, really high fat again, plus on components. A bull that is a positive almost a point on udders half a point i mean a half a point on udders and about a point on type again positive for productive life at 5.3 positive for all his health traits uh, a bull that has 1.9 calving ease a uh, bull that is positive o2 on his scr again a bull that if you can fit into your heifer program you're looking for production fat components health traits uh you want to take a look at tahiti uh the third bull uh, coming up again is uh Another frazzled son, again, I said we had quite a few frazzled sons uh, graduate. We had a lot of faith in uh, frazzled when we used him, and we used him early on sons uh, because we knew we had a lot of positive things as health traits and production. But the uh, third one we're putting here is 14H14220 Riveting. Uh, riveting, a frazzled son out of a party rock. Uh, the next dam, a mogul. So again, a very solid select sire proven pedigree. He comes in at uh, 778 of milk. Again, plus on components. Uh, a bull that's uh, just under uh, $900 uh, net merit. He's over 2840 TPI. Uh, frazzled son with a little more type maybe than some of the other ones and that he's 1.11 on type and over 1.5 on udders. Uh, these are really nice milk cows, beautiful udders. I've seen uh, quite a few of these around, uh, just uh, very balanced, nice rib, really strong. Like I said, udders, very nice shapely udders with a uh, nice cleft to them. Uh, again, one of the good things on this guy that is very popular with people, he's only 2.48 on his uh, cell count. Again, a bull that is a uh, very healthy cows, uh, lower your mastitis, he's 7.5 productive life, uh, he's also plus on his SCR at uh, 08 plus, so again a bull that if you're positive $105 on his wellness traits, so a bull that kind of checks all the boxes tight, production, um, high, you know, high quality conception, lower your cell count, again the kind of bull that we're looking for today that makes those medium sized cows with healthy udders and uh, strong health traits. Uh, the next bull is 7H14160 Lester P. And I'll try not to smile too much about this bull, but I did have uh, one of my good friends the other day said I might want to play back one of the old videos. I've always said this was an underestimated bull and uh, I still think he is. He actually came out and exceeded his genomic proof. A uh, bull that we've had a lot, I've had a lot of faith in. Uh, I like the pedigree. It's a little different. We don't have a lot of Zippet P sons, and he's a son of Zippet P out of a King Boy, back to the Lawn Boy Lulu Red Cow, which was a popular Lawn Boy uh, daughter that uh, for Lawn Boy that we've seen advertised quite a bit with select sires back in the day. Uh, he comes out over at 1100 of milk, uh, plus on components. Uh, he is uh, plus 2.43 for udders, uh, I mean 2.04 for udders, 2.43 for type, 1.31 for feet and legs. He came up about a half a point on his feet and legs. Uh, he came up close to another half point over all type and his udders, uh, again, a little more half a point exceeded his genomic uh, proof. He uh, is plus SCR at 1.6 and I uh, these, he really does settle cows really, really good. I actually think he's better than that. Um, I think he's a great bull to use if you're looking to add some type, some production, some components. Uh, you need to get cows settled right now. He's definitely a good bull for that. He's an A2, A2 bull, uh, really good linear. And when I looked at the top 50 uh, or 45 bulls, I think it was on there, there's only two bulls that are over two points on type and two points for utter. Lester P being one of them and the other one being the great King Doc. So he's in some pretty good company there and I actually think Lester P on King Doc is a fabulous mating. Uh, it's an outcross uh, mating of sorts, giving something different. I think both bulls will complement each other and that might be a place uh, to use Lester P. Okay, next bull is our highest uh, new TPI bull, 250H14134 Renegade. Uh, Renegade, again, a very, very popular bull in the next-gen program. He is a bull that uh, we were anticipating that he was going to be uh, way up there when he came out. 
Uh, he definitely has a lot of sons that uh, seem to follow with his qualities of high type and balance production and health traits. Uh, Renegade is an oak son out of a Millington. Uh, Millington, one of, uh, we'll talk about a little bit later again, but one of the great 99% reliable, success bulls still in the top 50 bulls. Um, he comes out plus 840 milk, uh, high fat at 0.18. He's plus uh, also 0.08% protein. He's 85 pounds of fat, 135 combined fat and protein. Uh, he's positive on his fertility at 0.6. He's 1.5 on uh, um, type, 1.5 point on udders, uh, just about one point feet and legs. Uh, if you talk to people, uh, you'd actually, they just love these cows. You, you would think he'd be like a two and a half point type bull or better. Um, not sure why he's not because I hear no complaints about the type on these cows. Definitely a bull again, uh, I would, um, use uh, i think he works good on both sides i think he has the ability to make the really great cow uh, i'd love to see um, some renegades out of king docks or some of the other you know, gold chips and atwoods and some of those kind of bulls i think he can be used in those programs uh, he's an outcross to a lot of those showcase bulls and i think he's really can work good as a crossover bull uh, again positive production uh really sound type Bullets plus 3.7 productive life and um, plus on his conception. So um, again, if you look at his linear, everything is very balanced. They're tall cows with great udders. Um, again, um, a bull that uh, continues to be used heavily. Um, if you can get some semen, use it. I know he has been on our allocation form. Uh, the demand for him is great. But uh, please put your order in, and uh, I'm sure we will do our best to get as much semen out there to you on him as we can. Uh, next bull we're going to put in is a bull by the name of Walter, 7H14059. Uh, Walter is a Heinsberg son. Heinsberg uh, was a bull that we had that was a Jaber son that did a nice solid job in a lot of herds and, and did a really nice udder shape to them, which I really liked. And his dam is a Montross, and then a super... Behind that, there's some Super Sire, Oman, different, uh, again, a full solid select pedigree. He offers something a little different in our mating programs, uh, being a Heinsberg Montross son. Uh, positive on production for uh, 669 milk. He's plus on his components. Again, a bull that is 1.39 on type, 1.95, almost 2 point on udders. Again, that really nice udder shape that I was talking about. He's plus 4.3 for productive life. Um, he's also plus on his DPR at 2.6. Again, a bull that's 2.0 on his sire calving ease. You can use him in your heifer program. Um, an A2A2 bull. So he really checks a lot of boxes. He kind of came out new last time. A lot of stuff going on. Got used a little bit. Uh, and then a lot of people, I've heard a lot of talk about him in the last uh, week or two. Uh, he does offer, I, I could say, something different. He continues to stay up on the list with good numbers, good production. Again, a really solid bull, uh, and a bull that, uh, again, to offer something a little bit different, uh, you might want to take a look at 7H14059 Walter. Uh, next bull I'm going to talk about is Sheik 7H14010. He was the bull that was also available sixed on the 509 side on our uh, special uh, semen there. Um, again, a bull that came out at 1,200 of milk. Uh, he's plus high on fat and protein, 75 pounds of fat. Uh, I've seen some of these daughters. They're tall dairy cows, uh, nice udders. Uh, he's a Sanderson son out of a Yoder. Uh, back to the Book of Modesto cow. Again, a very solid, proven select sire pedigree. Uh, a great sire stack. A bull that was very popular because of his fertility. Uh, he was plus 1.4 uh, right now on his SCR. He's a 1.11 on type, a 0 .0 eight eight on udders half a point on feet and legs again uh, a bull that offers a little bit different sire a solid select sire stack he's a2 a2 uh, 1.7 calving ease again a bull you can use heifers cows conception and a bull that does a really really good job of getting cows settled uh, kind of hits all the boxes you need uh, very balanced bull so uh, again i've seen daughters out there um, it's a bull that I personally sold a lot of and uh, will continue to keep him on my list. Uh, he has proven himself, like Lester P, to uh, hang solid and come back and, and done a good job. Next bull we're going to talk about is 7H13740 Roland. 
Uh, Roland is one of the top 99% reliable bulls. I think when you do him, he comes in the top five bulls, I believe. 99% uh, reliable. A bull that when you talk to a lot of people in the area that have milking daughters, they're reordering semen on him again. Uh, they like what they have. They're nice, uttered, solid cows with some style. Two of them uh, do a good job. He is a modesty son out of a bombero, out of a robust, again, not to repeat myself again, but again, it's all sire stack, a select sire bulls, solid proven bulls, bulls that we uh, have confidence in and we've used well here. Uh, but he comes at, he's at 500 to milk. He's 91 to fat. He's an extreme high fat bull. He's 124 CFP, getting a lot of that from his fat, but positive on fat and percent components. 0.03 on type, almost two points on udders, over half a point on feet and legs. Um, bull that is 3.2 productive life. He is plus 0.2 DPR, uh, 1.8 again on his uh, calving ease. Um, again, a kind of a no holes bull that has proven the test of time, customer satisfaction bull, uh, a bull that we should actually be selling lots of semen on. Um, people like them. They're solid. They're good milk cows. Uh, they're healthy cows. He's, he's plus on his DPR and SCR and productive life, all the things we're looking for. And, uh, the only thing, uh, that I'm not happy with is we need to sell more semen on this bull. He's, he's totally missed. Um, again, a bull offering a little bit different pedigree with the Bombero and Modesty. Uh, he, rate, he should fit well into a lot of the SMS programs as an outcross type bull. The next bull is 7H12978. Again, a bull that uh, like Roland at 99% reliable. Again, I've seen a lot of daughters out of him in herds and I have yet to see one that I don't like. They are nice cows and cows that I think that are gonna get better second calf, third calf. I think they're going to be uh, just those type of cows that you like more and more. They're really nice two-year-olds, nice udders, nice frame to them, nice rump. Uh, bulls plus 300 to milk. He's plus on his components. He's 194 on overall type. Again, from that nice frame and with the rump, I see that coming through. He is also uh, 2.12 on udders. And like I say, I, he doesn't miss on udders. I have seen uh, udder after udder, just nice, shapely, beautiful two-year-old udders. Um, a bull, again, that I'm hearing a lot of talk from people that are milking daughters. Again, they're wanting to order some more. They have some confidence on the bull. He is plus 06 on his SCR. Uh, so people are kind of looking at that right now, especially this time of year. So he fits into that category. He's right on the borderline of 2.2. So calving ease is right on the verge of being used heifers and cows there. A really beautiful linear when you look at it. Um, he's a bull that's also plus on his productive life at 2.4. Um, his DPR again plus at half a point and one of the other great things about a bull he is a low cell count bull at 2.66 so again uh, balanced cows beautiful udders that are going to get better as you go on he is a hang time son again hang time as we know did a lot of great things for types and udder and production cows and then uh, JC again was another great udder bull and then planet behind that um, I mean again not to say it one again another time, but another sire stack of solid select proven bulls. Uh, again, making these kind of customer satisfaction bulls. Next bull we're going to talk about is a bull that has been quite popular. A uh, bull that has been on allocation for quite some time. And uh, some people may have uh, kind of uh, backed off because they weren't able to get him. But he is available uh, readily at this time at 7H12974 Copycat. I do have a lot of orders for these bulls. I know a lot of our people do. And uh, some of the great things about this bull, he's a 1,000-pound milk bull, uh, plus on components, over 120 pounds CFP. He is at 2760 TPI, uh, point and a half on type, point and a half on udders, over half a point on feet and legs, plus on conception at 04, uh, a bull that lowers your cell count again at 2.65. He is uh, plus productive life at 4.0, plus 0.4. On his DPR, he's 2.1 uh, for calving ease, so he follows in the calving ease and uh, traits. You can use him on your heifers. Uh, he's plus on his wellness traits at $168. Uh, again, there's not a whole lot that the bull doesn't do right. He's probably one of the best sons, I believe, out of Jedi, and he kind of makes that type of cow. Uh, we talk to people nowadays, they, they just love their Jedis. They've seen him third, fourth calf. Uh, great dairy cows with beautiful udders. Um, 
the next sire again JC back in the pedigree he seems to show up on the maternal side on a lot of these good solid bulls uh, back to the Larkrest Cosmopolitan cow which was a really great cow family so great bulls come from a great sire stack and from great cow families and that's uh, something that we try to practice all the time but uh, copycat again um, they're tall cows uh, open rib beautiful udders a great linear uh, plus on conception he is available now I know people have tried weren't able to get it you can get him now he's bred by the great Sandy Valley herd out of Wisconsin uh, which I think does as good a job uh, as any with uh, you know there's about five to six herds that come to mind that just do a good job of doing type and production and I have a lot of confidence in the bulls that come out of there and the Sandy Valley herd would be one of them so um, take a look at uh, reintroducing copycat to get your cows bred right now in the summer heat uh, next bull I talk about time and time and time again but I like talking about him and as long as he's around I'll keep talking about him that's 250H12961 Doc again a bull that has since he got proven remained on allocation he continues to be very popular he is one of those bulls that comes around once in a generation uh, again a king boy son out of a Mac out of an Atwood solid select pedigree again Back to the Roxy cow family, as I've said uh, before, over 1,600 of milk, uh, three and a half on type, two and uh, just right, 242, almost two and a half on udders, over two point feet and legs, um, plus 1.8 productive life. Again, these type of bulls just don't come around. Bulls that sire this tremendous, consistent type, cow after cow, with this much production. Uh, beautiful daughters everywhere. I go people love the openness the dairiness these cows have uh, the nice soft udders um, again he gets that high tight proof from the consistency of the daughters that he makes uh, one right after the other I mean if you start looking at him you can pull him out in a group very easily uh, I look forward to seeing a lot more of these now coming in the second calf and as they get older and uh, I think he's a bull we'll hear about uh, for many years to come so again on he's an allocated bull a bull that is a little harder to get a hold of but semen is still available uh pretty readily if you can put him in your program um i think you should get him in there that's uh king doc again 99 percent reliable he's still number four he's number 14 tpi uh, he ranks up there with helix and uh millington and roland i mean the number of bulls that we have at that level of reliability that remain in the top 40 bulls is is quite astounding uh, next bull is uh, OCD Denver and again there's another prefix when I talk about bulls that do production and type uh, I have a lot of confidence in the bulls out of this herd they're bred good they're usually out of uh, fabulous cow families and they do as good a job as blending type and production and and keeping true to the Holstein cow as as, as most herds do a uh, bull that's uh, just shy of a thousand pounds of milk he is plus on his components he's over 84 pounds of fat putting him right at 119 uh, CFP he is plus productive life at 2.8 uh, plus on his DPR at 03 a bull that is plus on his wellness traits um, he is a, a Mr. Mogul Denver son uh, Mr. Denver um, Again, the mogul son that has done a really good job in making some really nice cows around the country at production and type. Uh, next dam is a numero uno, and he goes back to the Larkris Chrism cow, a 94 point cow who's had uh, different offspring uh, that have made our lineup uh, time and time again. Again, a solid cow family with production uh, type, and um, so uh, I do look for this bull to do uh, quite a good job. He's been a, a good mover for us. He has made a lot of lists that people looking for good, sound co commercial cows. Uh, he had strength. He had some stature with outstanding udders. Uh, next bull on our list is 7H12421 Millington. Uh, again, a bull like Roland. Uh, I keep putting uh, back in. He's at 99% reliable, 1,176 pounds of milk. He's an extreme high fat bull, almost 100 pounds of fat. He's right at 97. He's one point. He's plus 143 pounds CFP, plus on both uh, percent fat, percent protein. A bull that's 27, 83 TPI, and this is a bull that is well proven and still a tremendous high TPI, high production, high component numbers. Um, he's uh, right at just about a point, just under a point on type, over a point on udders. He's still positive for feet and legs. Uh, a bull that has uh, 
3.3 productive life, uh, just a slight minus on his DPR, bullet is plus on his wellness traits. Um, this sire is one of those that, uh, again, I, I've talked to a lot of people who are selling semen back to dairies who are using, that have daughters out of this bull. Again, a great customer satisfaction bull, kind of bull that people, once they milk the daughters, they want more. They're trouble-free cows with great udders. Uh, again, moderate on stature, they're open, they're dairy and um, just does a nice job, consistent daughter after daughter. The other thing I like about Millington is if you look through our lineup of bulls that are coming through, uh, he tends to show up in a lot of our pedigrees on either maternal or paternal side. So he's a bull that is just really good at transmitting his genetics, a bull that does a lot of right things that keep coming back and he's gonna, his name will be for generations coming through, through sons, grandsons, through maternal, through paternal side. Uh, again, Renegade, Stan being a Millington, so uh, definitely solidifying uh, the Millington influence into the breed. But uh, here's a bull again that uh, was pretty popular coming out the gate. Again, a little maybe harder to get semen at a time, but semen is very available now. He's a push at conception rate, uh, but I just feel he's a mild son, again, out of a shamrock. His dad, granddad was scored at 94 points. Um, so again, a bull that fits a lot of programs and uh, I think you should take a look at him. Next bull we'll talk about is 7H12344, Rager Red. A bull I've added back in, I haven't talked about in a while, but a bull that's over 99% reliable. A bull that can go to all the herds. Uh, we've sold a lot of semen. Everybody loves their Rager Red daughters, whether they're black and white or red and white. But when you really look even at the red and white breed, it is pretty rare bull. He stands out on his own. He's positive linear all the way through. He's uh, 779 to milk. He's plus on all his components. Uh, a bull that's 155 on type, uh, half, over half a point on udders, plus 1.14 feet and legs. He's a bull that's 5.0 for productive life, plus 0.01 DPR. Again, in the red breed, those are things you, you don't get a lot. We get a lot of bulls that are negative in some of those health traits or productive life traits. Uh, but here's a bull that has thousands of daughters of milking. He's A2A2. Uh, he's readily available now. Um, again, a bull, I think whether you're doing red cows or black cows, I see as many good black and white ones as red ones. It really doesn't matter. He is just kind of a really a, a, an all-time great bull. And I think... Um, You'll definitely, um, as the red breed goes, you see more and more. He actually does make some really fancy calves that we see out there. Uh, he does do some style and some show things. Uh, for the red breed, he does add some production and other things into there. Again, for a commercial guy, they're just solid cows. Good udders, nice frames. Uh, again, a customer satisfaction bull. And again, that's why I put him back here on the list. Next bull is 14H7828 Odin, a bull that's been around a bit, a bull that's been quite popular. Again, a bull that has extremely uh, wonderful linear. They're tall, open, strong cows. It's really great udders. Uh, he's a, a rod son out of a ransom. Um, back to a planet. Again, solid cow family behind him. He's over 500 of milk. Again, a bull that's high fat, 93 pounds of fat. He's 133 CFP. Uh, plus 0.25% fat and 08 protein. Uh, still way over 2,700 of TPI at 2,741. A point and a half on type, uh, 0.64 on udders. A uh, bull that is, again, um, plus on productive life at 2.4, and he's plus on his DPR at 0.1. Um, his conception, again, SCR plus at 06. He's a calving ease bull. He's been quite popular in that area at 1.7. Uh, plus on his wellness traits. So again, here's a bull, kind of a no holes bull, added bonus. He's also an A2A2. Uh, again, he's available fertility. He's a fertility bull, sex bull, production bull, milk bull, fat bull, uh, solid type, great linear, uh, a bull that we have plenty of semen on. If you use him in your heifers, great calving ease bull. Um, the guess is kind of out of this bull, so uh, I definitely take a look at using him. Uh, next bull we'll talk about is 14H7796 Griff, who's been a popular bull for us. Uh, we've sold a tremendous amount of semen on this bull. He's an A2A2 bull. He is a silver son uh, out of a super sire. Uh, he's over 700 of milk. He's plus on his components. Extreme fat at 108 pounds of fat. He's plus uh, 028% pounds of fat. 
over 160 CFP. He's a top TPI bull, uh, just about a point on top type, over a half a point on udders. Positive for feet and legs. Uh, one of the reasons he's so popular, he's three plus 3.2 for fertility. A bull that really gets cows settled, and especially at this time of year, uh, looking for that high fertility bull that's a top TBI bull that uh, he's um, at 99, 98% reliable right now. He's solid, makes great cows, uh, the medium sized cows, they're open ribbed, beautiful balanced udders. Cows are going to get better lactation after lactation. Um, he's definitely the kind of bull to be looking at uh, right now. Again, trying to get cows pregnant coming out of the heat, you want a bull that's solid. Uh, still ranking in the top 50 bulls with uh, all the other young bulls coming out and that can really get the job done that would be Griff. And the last bull we're going to talk about today another Silver Sun uh, 14H 7770 Helix again a bull that uh, is no surprise that he continues to stay I believe he's number 13 as I said earlier on TPI 1758 of milk over 120 pounds uh, of fat uh, he comes out at 183 CFP a bull that uh, we've had a, a hard time keeping up with the demand due to his popularity, uh, but semen is becoming more and more available uh, out there. A bull that's break even on his fertility. So, uh, again, a, he's a good fertility bull. 2815 um, on his TPI, 1.20 type, uh, almost a point on udders. He's, uh, I believe, 0. 0.88 plus on udders. Again, a balanced linear, tall, open dairy cows, balance of strength. Uh, really good rear udders, uh, again, silver in the pedigree, the good mogul sun, putting that beautiful udder shape and those quality udders that we see uh, from the mogul uh, bloodline in the back coming through. Uh, again, he comes out of a, a really solid family, the cookie cutter uh, cow family um, that uh, we've had so many great sons and sons coming through the lineup on. Uh, Helix comes out of that great family. Uh, he's plus on his productive life. And um, again, the bull that kind of does the job, very popular bull, seen many daughters around and uh, continues to be in high demand here at uh, All West Select Sires for sales. And I want to thank everybody. Uh, again, we, like I said, we just did proven bulls today. Again, I want to go back to customer satisfaction bulls. And I think these are the bulls that kind of fit that and the bulls that uh, Select Sires has always been popular for bulls that have stood the test of time and that continue to do a good job even after they're proven uh, coming back into the lineup and I want to thank the customers out there who have faith and have stayed loyal in using the All West Select product. Uh, I know going to many more herds and going around it's just people who have been with us for you know 30, 40 years or plus and uh, stay with us believe in the program believe in the bulls they have some wonderful herd of cows out there uh, and have stuck with these solid customer satisfaction bulls and uh, it's that satisfaction that keeps us in business and keeps us going and again we appreciate uh, all of our customers and uh, wish you the best